Good afternoon, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com here. Coming at you on a Saturday, April 1st. No fooling. We're going to do some Diamond Kings. Uh, a half case from an inner case. Half an inner. All right? So that makes sense. Pick your team number five. At the very end of the break, I'll be giving away $50 of break credit. Big thanks to these folks for getting in on the action. Jeff, there is another Jeff Hensley here, so we have to distinguish the uh, West Virginia Jeff Hensley with Ohio Jeff Hensley. So there's everybody right here. Thank you for picking your teams. All cards ship in this, believe it or not. Usually in base heavy sets, we don't do that, but we decided to be nice. All right, so here's the, the monster master case right here. Rory, your one year was February or March? Well, happy anniversary, Rory. Yeah, Rory's been with us for ages too. which inner we're going to do one two three for the left side four five six for the right side per tradition and it's five it'll be the right side so this will be the case we're going to do and this is for this will be break seven break seven and eight will be in there Then we'll find six boxes out of here. All right. So there's two, four, six on the left side and the right side. So we'll stack them up this way. Again, one, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. And it's three, it'll be the left side right here. So this will be break number, so we're doing pick your team five right now. This is pick your team six, or so this will be for pick your team six, right? This other half. I have marked, all marked six right here. So we know they're from the same inner case slide that over that's already in the store right now folks so you can check it out in fact break seven and eight are in the store too so you can buy your team in an entire master case if you'd like or you just go one break at a time if your teams are still available all right good luck everybody uh, this is what we're looking for, two autograph or memorabilia cards per box on average. So thank you very much for making us part of your Saturday. I know people have things, people have lives. You guys have lives, right? Things, people have things to do on Saturdays. I'm always, I'm always happy when people are like, oh, you know what? Let's, let's chill. Let's chill, stay in tonight. Hang out with Jazz Peace tonight. I appreciate that. Watching a little college basketball too. Gonzaga up 45-36. With about 23 seconds left, 23 and change left in the first half of the game. So we'll be watching college basketball together tonight, breaking cases tonight, and we'll uh, we'll start this April off on a good note. It's already April. Oh, I gotta pay rent. I forgot about that. Hmm. I'll just drop it off later tonight. Um, gotta pay rent. So March was an absolutely it was, was gangbusters, folks. So I appreciate everyone who who really dug deep with uh, with uh, with the hobby in March. So thank you very much. And I, I, I'm we're fully expecting April to be just as strong too. Uh, we got plenty of National Treasures football left. We got to pick your team, random division, and a random team in the store right now. JaspiesHobbyland.com. So we'll have plenty of that, and we're still pulling heat out of there. So keep going. I think a couple new releases coming out in. Uh, coming out in, in April as well. We'll go over that a little bit later after this break. 
All right, good luck, everybody. So we're also looking at one, uh, there'll be one numbered framed in here too. So two hits, usually, so usually one of these kind of cards right here, Artist Proof, Kirby Puckett, nice, 30 out of 99 for the Twinkies. That'll go to Jackson. Yeah, we'll go over the new release calendar a little bit later too, just to get an idea of what you need to save up for. We pulled some solid hits out of here. You know, th this 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 set lands at a very friendly price point, baseball fans. So it's not super expensive. Chance to get a lot of nice stuff. Set builders love this sort of stuff. They can a lot of variations in here. Everything ships, so you'll be getting all these variations. Nice, Nomar. Dual relic for the Red Sox. That'll go to Daniel Arndt. We've got the Red Sox on a lark. He's more of a football guy. Should you expect one more relic or uh, one more hit, probably an autograph, and then a framed card. Kyle Seeger, maybe? Nice. Corey's brother. Two color dual relic, 190 out of 199. Kyle Seeger rakes. Mariners going to Scott Smith. This must be the numbered frame card. It is. Red. 86 out of 99. We've pulled train whistles of these frames as well. These are your other cards right there. Great first box. Make myself some room here. A great first box. Nice Kyle Seeger. Is everybody excited for baseball season? I hope so. Starts tomorrow. There's a handful of games tomorrow, right? A few games tomorrow, I think. And then like everybody else on Monday. Uh, the way my new schedule is set up, I work Tuesday through Saturday now, ladies and gentlemen. That's my new schedule. So with that, I have uh, my, my weekend is technically on Sunday and Monday, which is great because I can watch baseball. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, basketball playoffs are coming up too. Baseball's way too long. It's nice. There's nothing else going on in the middle of the summer, right? Oh, way too, way too long for you to get excited about for the first series. But the op opening day, come on. You got oh, everyone always has to get excited about opening day. And then you forget about it. And then that, I think that's what happens for most sports fans, right? There's too much sports, right? You, you get excited about like the first week of baseball. Although I love baseball, so I, I'm excited about it for all six months. But, oh, it's just Cardinals and Cubs tomorrow night. Gotcha. Then everybody else on Monday. Okay, I see. Um, for me, you know, I, 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 I'm a big fancy baseball guy, so... I can track that. I can follow that all, all year long. But yeah, I get it. You know, like first week you get interested in baseball and then you start fading away because you're like, oh, it's just way too early in the season. There's basketball playoffs. Hockey playoffs are coming up soon. Playoff hockey is always exciting. The draft happens. Jackie Bradley Jr. happens. 10 out of 15. Red Sox. Daniel Arndt. Nice. Red Sox have a nice team coming up this year too. <laughs> it is kind of, it is kind of amateur hour. That's true. Uh, Andrew S. No, we just did uh, box one. There was a Mariner, and there was a a Red Sox. Those are the, those are the hits, and for these for this box, it's a Pirate and a Red Sox. Eighty eight out of two ninety nine. Josh Bell, dual two color dual relic and autograph. Pirates. Aaron Bradfit. Aaron, chunk. There you go, man. Last spot mojo strikes again. 80% of the time, last spot mojo hits 100% of the time. There's John Lester, 82 out of 99. Roger Maris frame. Adrian Beltre, is he starting the season on the DL? Maybe. Oh, nice. Artist proof. Kyle Schwarber, 7 out of 25 for the Cubs. 
I go to John Watkins along with that Lester and this Chris Bryant. Chris Sale, still in his White Sox gear there. He went from one sock to another, Chris Sale. There's Kluber. Oh, nice. Heritage Collection, Tony Gwynn. Nice. 13 out of 25. Tony Gwynn's son, Tony Gwynn Jr., does, uh, does a lot of uh, pre-game, post-game stuff for the uh, Dodgers radio. For Dodgers radio. He used to play for the Dodgers for a little bit, too. And um, it's crazy because... You know, his he sounds just like his dad, and you know, dad passed away, of course, cancer. Um, but it's just it's it's very trippy to hear him talk because he just sounds like it just sounds exactly like his dad. TJ with the Padres. All right, next box. I know Daniel's like, why can't I have this kind of luck in football? I don't know, man. Hey, listen, I, I, like I said, there are some breaks that just get people, you know? There are some breaks, some products where as much as they love them, those products don't love you. You know what I mean? Like, um, I remember, you know, a good story is actually, now that we're just mentioning TJ, good story is uh, TJ who... I think two years ago, maybe, was doing a lot of playbook football. And he like he really liked playbook football. He's like, oh my god, this is great stuff. I'm going to get in. I'm going to try. He did like 10. I mean, he spent a lot of time. did like 10 or so breaks. Nothing. You know, like like just nothing significant. You know, not even like hits. It was like a few couple things here and there. The guy was bummed out. But at the same time, he was also doing... Uh, high-tech baseball had just come out around the same time, too. He was crushing in high-tech baseball. You know? So, he's just like, why can't I do this in playbook? You know? Everyone has, like, their break that just seems to get him for whatever reason. And then another break. I don't know. It's weird. What's up, Brad? Bradley Broad in the house. Jeff Dorlak, Yankees guy. You think the Yankees have a shot at the World Series? Well, I mean, I guess. They've got a good young team. You know, it is, it is pretty good. All right. Next box. Brooks Robinson, 26 out of 90. This is one of Bossman's favorite players right here for the Orioles. That goes to Manuel. There's Mike Trout. Daniel's like, well, I guess I got to buy a bunch of baseball then. Well, if you want to stay in the National Treasures vein, Daniel Arndt, we do have National Treasures baseball. It's Corey Kluber. And there's Gary Carter. Nice. 22 out of 25 for the kid. The kid before Ken Griffey Jr. There it is. Montreal stuff goes to the Nationals, of course. Mike Coster with that one. Nice dual bat relic for Gary Carter. Speaking of the Yankees, there's Billy Martin. Jorge Soler for the Cubs. Nice. Dual relic and autograph. 57 out of 99. That goes to John Watkins and the Cubs. Poor Alex Reyes. He's supposed to have a really big season this year, but arm injury. Red frame, Jacob deGrom. 44 out of 99. Metropolitans, Mark Lundy with that one. Brian Dozier. Daniel Murphy. And Madison Bumgarner. All right, next box.
Yeah, Daniel, no team logos on this stuff. I always forget to mention that. Yeah, Panini doesn't have um, Panini doesn't have that license. It's a licensing thing, so they can only put uh, only put the cities on there. I guess I think they have the uh, the Major League Baseball. They have the Players Association license, which obviously allows them to put the names on here and everything, and use their likenesses and whatnot. But um, I guess they don't have the exclusive on the um, or they don't have the license for the for uh, the teams for Major League Baseball, which I think Tops has the exclusive too, which is why obviously you'll see their uh, their logos on there. I'm not here. Yeah, that that's the that's that's the one thing that people kind of like. National Treasures Baseball is really nice. I think most people don't mind when it's National Treasures Baseball, um, just because just the quality of that's so high. But I think people do kind of some, some most a lot of baseball collectors purists will be like, eh, doesn't do it for me, not having the team logos and stuff. I've gotten used to it. I think initially I was a little kind of oh that looks kind of weird, but I guess over the over the years just kind of seeing it more often I've gotten used to it. it. Doesn't bother me as much as it used to. You know, if I pull a if I pull a Chris Bryant autograph out of Diamond Kings baseball, like I'm not gonna mind, you know. <laughs> Joe Cronin for the Red Sox, 81 and 9. Reds, Braves? Red Sox? Red Sox, I think. Red frame. Paul Wayner, gray frame. There's Mike Trout. There's Alex Reyes. Asin Russell, another Cub. Dual Relic for John Watkins and the Cubs. Nice. And Andrew Benintendi. Wow. <laughs> Daniel, I guess you are hitting better in baseball. 191 out of 299. Dual Relic and Autograph. Andrew Benintendi. One of the uh, top prospects, not only for the Red Sox, but in, in, in Major League Baseball. He's supposed to... Blow up the season. He's supposed to go off the season. That's what I hear. Uh, he's gonna be good. So nice rookie signatures there for Daniel Arndt and the Red Sox. He only got the Red Sox to try to help fill this break. He's more of a football guy, folks. That should be, it should be interesting to see. The AL East should be pretty interesting. Both the Red Sox and the Yankees have kind of young and up-and-coming sort of teams. You know, and obviously both 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 clubs have deep pockets. You know, so it could be, they could make for some pretty exciting battles for, uh, for years to come. I think, uh, I think my Dodgers... Will probably face the Cubs multiple times in like an NLCS, I think, for in the next handful of years too, because both those teams also deep pockets, you know, and young up up and coming players. So should be pretty exciting. Arnie Banks, let's play two. There's Madison Bumgarner. Johnny Pesky. There he is, found him, Joe DiMaggio. And speaking of the Dodgers, there's Corey Seager. Two color dual relic. 
For my Dodgers, Chris Miller with the Dodgers. Dodgers just need to get over the hump. That's the thing. You know, like they always seem to have a good team constructed. They got guys like Kershaw, you know, but they just need to kind of get over that hump in the playoffs. Hunter Renfro. Nice. 28 out of 99. Two color dual relic and autograph for the Padres. TJ with the Padres. Nice TJ Renfro. Another, another solid player in San Diego. There's Madison Bumgarner, 47 out of 99. My rivals, the Giants, Andrew S. Dodgers and Giants should be battling for the NL West. Right there. But the NL West is tough, too. Can't sleep on the Diamondbacks. You know, their, their team on paper is, I mean, is just too good, right? And the Rockies, if they ever get their pitching in order, their offense is still pretty solid. So you can't really sleep on any of the, uh, I mean, everyone expects the Giants or the Dodgers to kind of battle for first place, but those other teams too, except for the, I mean, aside from the Padres, you know, but um, those other teams can, can surprise, can surprise anybody capable of. Oh, Daniel saying Fenway. Oh yeah, Daniel's in Massachusetts. Yes, Fenway makes baseball not enjoyable. Why is it not enjoyable? I've always wanted to go to Fenway, just as just, just for the the history angle, you know. We went to Wrigley Field. Take a sip of lemonade here. We went to uh, Wrigley Field for the when we were at the National two years ago, when Jaspies was there. We went to uh, Wrigley Field to see a game. It was great. I grew up, I, I you know I grew up in L.A. I was born in Ohio, but I grew up in Los Angeles basically, and was going to Dodger games since childhood. And so all I know is just these huge cathedral like stadiums right Dodger Stadium holds what's the cap at Dodger Stadium 56,000 or something like that so to go to some place like Wrigley <laughs> I was amazed it's like they play baseball here like so tiny felt like a felt like a college stadium you know but the friendly confines it was beautiful and the and Fenway is the other place I definitely want to go to I, I want to go to every baseball stadium that's one of my dreams Spend the summer, like rent an RV, go around around there. Oh, there you go. Daniel Arndt's like, he's, I'm 6'5", and the seats are just way too, people were just smaller back then, back in the day. Yeah, I, I've heard that complaint. Like, like older ballparks, just the seating is not as, uh, seating, seating is not as comfortable. All right, last box, folks. Thanks for hanging out with us in this baseball break. Remember, we got more boxes of Diamond Kings available. So if you like what you see, get into it. Everything ships, so it's kind of cool to collect all this little stuff. Some nice hits pop out every once in a while, too, like this. Josh Bell, 18 out of 49, brown frame. Going to Aaron and the Pirates. There's Manuel Margot. Nice frame for the Padres. Padres edition of Manuel Margot. Daniel Murphy, dual relic, 48 out of 49 uh, for Mike Coster in the Nationals. Grover Alexander, almost said Grover Cleveland. No, Grover Alexander. We got nice Aaron Judge, 6 out of 25. Nice Yankees patches. He's, he's one of the other sort of up-and-coming players for the Yankees. That's great. Uh, Rick T with the Yankees. There you go, Rick. The very, very end. All right, let's see what, we, what else we have here. That should be it for the hits, unless, unless we have a bonus. There's Gabby Hart in it for the Cubs, 4 99 And we're going to close out with... Frame of Will Myers, Corey Seager. I believe these are variations. That's why they're flipped around. And they're Jose Altuve, Carl Ferrillo, and Justin Verlander. And there you go, folks. That was your break. Nothing to randomize. It's a pretty clean break right there. So thank you very much for joining us, folks. We've That was uh, Pick Your Team number 5 of 2017, Diamond Kings Baseball by Panini. We have other Pick Your Teams available in the store on jazpiecehobbyland.com. So, uh... This is Joe, and I'll break with you next time. Bye-bye.